a curious combination of fallen apart and blinged out. Yaoundé's black and yellow taxis are the way to go. They're common in western central African cities, but here they dominate, and they're known as taxi buses. Haglin is part of the service. Bonsoir, monsieur. Ah, putain, central, c'est combien? 500. Ah, non, c'est juste là-bas. 300. Compared to taxis in other African countries, these are relatively affordable. The average price, 200 francs, the equivalent of 40 American cents. You can also say depot if you want the taxi to yourself. This will cost you more, probably around 1,000 francs, but negotiation is key. Before, there were minibuses, but the government got rid of them. So this is the only transport in the city, because motorcycles are not allowed in the city center. Demand Zache has been in the business for eight years. He started working as a taxi driver for someone else, eventually saving up enough money to buy one of his own. The work is challenging, as you have to drive around non-stop for hours, picking up and dropping passengers to make a profit. As a driver, you have to give 10,000 francs to your boss every day. So to earn money for yourself, you have to work extra hard. Some days you earn more, some days you earn less, but it evens out. Traffic jams. Bad roads and accidents are occupational hazards. For commuters, it can be frustrating just trying to find the right lift. Muriel Omasomba takes the taxi bus to work and back home every day. It takes at least two to five minutes to find a taxi. It's very convenient. The only problem is finding a taxi bus that is headed where you are going. Twenty minutes later, she is still waiting. Eventually, she finds a ride. Getting a taxi bus in Yaoundé may be a complicated process, but for the city's 1.8 million people, it's the only way. Maria Galang, CCTV, Yaoundé, Cameroon.